From fictional walkers to ritualistic reanimation, today on Factspace, we are looking at types of zombies. Zombies are undead or reanimated corpses that belong to the world of fiction and are well known for their role in the horror genre. Throughout the world, zombies are a large part of pop culture and have been depicted in everything from modern literature to television shows. However, they're also rooted in cultures where their concept takes on some pretty unique meanings. Many zombie origins started out in the folklore of Haiti and Africa. In many Haitian traditions, zombies are associated with the magic of a necromantic sorcerer, known formally as a bokor. This relates to the religion called Haitian voodoo, which, despite having links to dark magic in modern times, covers a variety of interesting thoughts. There are two types of zombies in Haitian beliefs. The first involves the reanimation or revival of a human corpse, which is then under the control of a bokor, and will do anything he says until this process is reversed or ended. The other covers a much deeper premise, linking the terminology of zombies to a portion of the human soul. This astral projection could be taken and used by a bokor to increase his powers, or could be bottled and sold to give success in a variety of forms to a client. This form of a zombie, like the first, is temporary. However, the bokor does not have the same control over this astral variation. Instead, God is able to extract the soul at any point, making the zombie a provisional being. Both types of these zombies reflect the roots of Haitian voodoo, which believe that each zombie type has one half of a full body, one has the flesh, while the other has the soul. This concept originates with enslaved Africans who practiced the voodoo religion and brought their traditions from Africa to Haiti. They believed that they would be brought to a beautiful heaven unless they had wronged the deity, Baron Samedi. If they had, they would be forced to spend eternity as a zombie according to the beliefs of Haitian voodoo. A more physical form of zombie became prominent in South Africa, where several variations of the undead have made waves in their cultures. For example, one area believes that young children can turn a human corpse into a zombie, while in another tradition, witches are believed to be powerful enough to turn a living person into a zombie by murdering them in order to turn them into a zombified slave. Just as the concept of zombies is rooted in cultural traditions, the origins of these faiths are similarly connected to two major influences. The first is related to a chemical balance within the human where, when their blood reacts with special ingredients, they will turn into a zombie. This theory was conceived by Wade Davis, a graduate from Harvard who worked on a case regarding the reality of his beliefs. He concluded that two distinct powders had to be introduced into the wound of the body. One powder was a toxic substance that could be extracted from the skin of a puffer fish and held incredibly powerful but fatal properties. The second powder consisted of a drug that causes hallucinations. Together, the mixture could then be used by a bokor to create a zombie within their control. This zombified human would go through several transformations, in which it would eventually end up in a state of great psychosis. Between the chemical reaction of the powders and the traumatic experience of their transformation, the new zombie would be forced to accept its new fate and adapt to what it has become. Davis's theory has been the topic of debate, as people question the reality of his claims as well as how it fits into the Haitian culture and religions. One popular controversy is the fact that Davis believes that bokors can keep zombies in this state for several years at a time, as opposed to the idea that they are supposed to be temporary entities. A psychiatrist from Scotland, called R.D. Lang, holds a different perspective on the origin of the belief in zombies. His presumption is that zombies are a manifestation of mental illnesses, such as schizophrenia, which become heightened into zombie-like forms and have promoted the belief in these fictional beings. A professor of both psychiatry and anthropology, Roland Littlewood, supported this theory in a medical journal explaining how social constructs may influence people's belief in zombies. This is summarized with the idea that civilians in Haiti may round out homeless people and mentally ill individuals as being zombies. Because of the large number of homeless throughout Haiti, which includes schizophrenics and disabled individuals, this theory of serious misidentification is reason to have a stronger premise than Davis's. While these cultural definitions of a zombie are described by magical elements, modern times focus on scientific explanations instead. Scientific projects gone awry and medically induced zombification are major contenders for the purpose behind zombies, and these concepts lead the way for the majority of zombie usage in pop culture. Zombies have been a prominent part of the television and film scene since the early 1930s, when White Zombie, a cinematic directed by Victor Halperin, kicked off the start of a zombie emergence on screens everywhere. 
sinister power behind the white zombie. The horror film paved the way for a sequel just a few years later, and eventually influenced the popular and influential title, Night of the Living Dead, in 1968, where George A. Romero painted the story of a large group of undead going after several people trapped in a farmhouse. George A. Romero's perception of the apocalyptic-style zombies has become a major influence on modern interpretations of the undead. His horrific version saw them as hybrid creatures that veered away from previous ideas of zombies and gave them their own title, Romero Zombies. As decades passed, more and more ideas have added to the zombie handbook, evolving the creature tremendously. This includes the common zombie's brain-hungry tendencies and the origin of zombies in many films, where the undead are linked to airborne gases and scientific experiments. At the start of the new millennium, the following two decades have hosted some of the most popular zombie-centric hits. This includes 28 Days Later and its follow-up 28 Weeks Later, several new releases by George A. Romero, the entire Resident Evil lineup, and remakes of old classics that helped the world to envision zombies in an entirely new way. One of the most popular zombie television shows to date is The Walking Dead, a continuing series on AMC that scored itself some of the highest ratings in the US during its broadcasts. This show features the incredibly prominent concept of a zombie apocalypse, which has rooted itself as a staple of modern zombies. A zombie apocalypse is determined by an initial outbreak that eventually spreads into an uncontrollable, worldwide epidemic. This can be spread via direct contact with zombies, airborne viruses, or a variety of other reasons that ultimately infect humans around the world due to the nature of the crisis. This forces civilization to isolate itself and stock up on supplies and weaponry in order to survive the apocalypse, where the infected are usually lumbering, repulsive creatures that feast on human brains. Zombie apocalypses and variations of the undead are also prevalent in the gaming community, with everything from phone applications to computer platforms presenting their own version of zombies. Music, art, and classical forms of literature also highlight their own types of zombies, but one of the most interesting representations of the undead actually comes from the government. In 2011, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, in the United States released a short graphic book entitled Preparedness 101 – Zombie Apocalypse. The comical strip was used to encourage people to prepare for any type of natural disaster, from hurricanes to earthquakes to the possibility of a zombie apocalypse. Between magical zombified entities and the lumbering, decaying dead on Call of Duty, zombies play a pivotal role in both cultural and entertainment-related aspects. The undead will undoubtedly continue to evolve in their fictional elements, and depending on the course of mankind, their scientific and magical ones too. <laughs>